But I want to talk about my first deep shot of the year here. And it's going to be a gross name. May get some shit for this one. But it's Randall Cobb. And no one, Oof. and it really my whole premise is, no one knows who the guy will be in Houston. You know, we're hearing a lot of talk right now about Brandon Cooks and Will Fuller. Neither of those are the most durable guys right now. And I'm not going to deal in absolutes and just say, oh, you know, because Brandon Cooks has hit 1,000 yards everywhere else, he's going to do it again. And even if he does, I don't necessarily think that's a, a huge indictment on Randall Cobb. You know, Cooks has had the scary concussion issues. He missed two games, was in and out of the lineup last year. Will Fuller misses five and a half games a year over the last four seasons. So you got to expect at least five or six again. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and things don't sound like they're improving in the Fuller situation. I, I read a quote recently that was like, he, he just doesn't understand what's going on um, with his body. So, I mean, I wish the best for him, but we just can't rely on that from a fantasy perspective. And, and here's really the, the the one of the biggest things for me is Deshaun Watson has been fantastic when throwing to the middle of the field and targeting the slot. So per next-gen stats on throws 10-plus yards down the field and over the middle, Deshaun Watson has a pass rating of 106.5 compared to the average pass rating of 91.3. So that, that's a huge difference there. And that shows just how elite Watson is when he's attacking the, that middle of the field. And I think even with Randall Cobb, yeah, he's not going to be an upgrade over DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, who is? But he fits into that, that slot receiver role extremely well. And based on the last couple of years, I think the Texans are actually a really, really good fit for Randall Cobb's skill set. He has a career yards per reception over 12 and last year was his best year in terms of efficiency he was at 15.1 yards per reception which is really wow. a number you expect from like a deep threat receiver for reference last year hopkins had 11.2 yards per reception will fuller was 13.7 kenny wow. stills was a 14 yards per reception and brandon cooks who they brought in of course is was at 13.9 so last year cobb was already passing those guys in terms of yards per reception he is just a yak monster he can make plays down the field and the texans brought him in on a decent deal a three-year 27 million dollar deal with 19 million guaranteed for a guy who's most guaranteed money old. of all the free agent wide receivers this year that wow that's actually crazy i did not know that well for a guy who's 29 and i mean and the free like agent been... class was weak because amari cooper didn't hit free agency but still hey fair enough the, the, I mean, for a guy who's 29 years old, that's that's an incredible contract. Shout out to Randall Cobb and his agent because they just won this deal. And, and I really do think it's a great fit. There done. is a world here where Randall Cobb is the best wide receiver on the Texans in a high-flying offense that, you know, if he develops chemistry with Deshaun Watson, we always – like Deshaun Watson scrambling around in the backfield waiting for guys to get open. Like if that chemistry develops and Cobb is the one there and is extending those plays with Watson – he can be a weekly wide receiver two or flex option that you're essentially getting for free in the last couple picks of your draft. And if if you see that Brandon Cooks and Will Fuller take over and Cobb's just not getting the volume, then you can drop Randall Cobb and, and it's no sweat. You can pick somebody else up off waivers. So I love taking Cobb as that deep shot in our drafts. And, and there is really a world I think he is a wide receiver too. <laughs> Steph, I actually love that call. And you're right. There's a non-zero chance that Cobb ends up the highest – uh, fantasy scoring receiver on the Texans and he's still a good player he's only 30 years old and I look at kind of ADPs and players that are similar to that Randall Cobb skill set you think about the Jamison Crowders of the world you think about the Golden Tates of the world guys who aren't going to pop off very often but they should be very consistent should get plenty of receptions are running in the slot and you look at Golden Tate you look at Jamison Crowder those guys are going several rounds in front of Randall Cobb and I actually think it's a toss-up if you put Golden Tate Jamison Crowder and Randall Cobb out on the table I think it's a toss-up between which of the three ends up as the highest scoring um, in half PPR PPR formats this season in fantasy so for me if I'm going to take a, a Jamison Crowder or uh, you know a Golden Tate in round 10 or 11 maybe even round nine, I would much rather take an upside running back or an upside at another position or maybe an even bigger upside receiver at that spot, wait and get that stability from Randall Cobb a little bit later on. People are sleeping on Randall Cobb. People are forgetting about him. And he's a talented guy who still has a lot of um, productive years in front of him and should see a pretty good target share this year in Houston. So I love the pick stuff.